this topic came up so here is a video on how to work with a vernier caliper with a fine adjuster on it the here is a here's a plane and the fine adjusting side by side this one is plane and this one is the fine adjusting you can see the apparent differences this one has one sliding part and this one has two sliding parts one main with numbers on it and one little guy that uh, wobbles a little bit but moves along with the big one this one has one lock nut and this one has two lock nuts this little guy here is the carries the fine adjusting uh, screw there and it kind of moves a little bit and it's not numbered it doesn't have any reference numbers on it this is how you can use this first make sure that both lock nuts are loosened up and then you can open it or close it sometimes because this one moves considerably sideways sometimes this one bites and then it's all jerky or, or stuck so you just be patient and careful and uh, make it uh, make it work what this fine adjustment mechanism is for is to take consistent measurements I'll show you what I mean instead of here is this coin for example instead of trying the jaws on the caliper together and hoping to be correct you can apply consistent pressure with this fine adjusting mechanism so first you get a rough size of the coin just like so take out the coin tighten down the fine adjuster and put the coin in and say apply half a turn on this one uh, quarter turn sorry because okay, if my nails dig in here without sliding my nails I just rotate it quarter turn coins gonna drop out there and if I rotate it back again a quarter turn it's gonna grab the coin again I'm gonna need my other hand for it there so this way you can apply like I said consistent pressure on the item being measured a coin is not that much compressible but softer materials will be or might be so that's what the fine adjuster is for and it doesn't matter too much what the distance is between the fine adjuster mechanism or this fine adjuster carriage and the sliding part on the caliper there can be that much distance or this much or this much or whatever you like you can you have a little wiggle room okay I hope that makes sense let's take a look at how the numbers work on it and I've got the whiteboard here take a look let me just put you here and uh, I'll put the calipers over here The upper part is in inches, the lower part is metric. And let me just switch the light off. There, so you can see what we're doing. And I kind of need to stand on this side, and I'm not going to be crisscrossing too often or at all. Let's see, I can make a little better. Okay, I'll make it a little better here. There. Okay, what we've got here on the sliding scale, and the parts of the caliper is the same as on uh, one vernier caliper is the same as the other. So the jaws are jaws, and the spurs are spurs, and it measures depth as well, so much, <clears throat> much the same way. So what you have here is a different scale. Instead of having a having a precision on the instrument as just wait for it to focus uh, it doesn't want to focus in low light instead of having a precision of, precision of 0 0.05 millimeters this one has a 0 0.02 millimeter precision and uh, that 
that's a number nine next to it. So that that eight is on the scale, and that nine is also part of the scale. And at 0 0.02 millimeter, that is the precision of the instrument. All right, so that eight and nine those are different things. Let me zoom back out. Uh, not that much. Maybe somewhere here. Okay, this is your zero 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 point when the caliper's jaws are shut or closed, and uh, there is nothing being measured. You. This is when you. This is uh, part of your calibration. You have to make sure when the jaws are shut that the sliding zero lines up with the uh, main scale zero and that sliding zero also lines up with one of the hair lines on the main scale. Now because the precision is 0 0.02 millimeters that means that every division here on the sliding scale is 0 0.02 millimeters so the numbers read that's, that's one tenth of a millimeter so that's 0 0.1 0 0.2 millimeters 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 and to make it work with that number there this is 0 0.4 0 0.42 0 0.44 0 0.46 0 0.48 0 0.50, 0 0 0.52, okay, you get the idea. That's what's meant by that 0 0.02 there, that every increment on it is two hundredth of a millimeter. Okay, once you have your calibration done, that it's that the zero, zero, and the zero line up, let's measure something. Uh, how about the same coin? We'll just measure the thickness of it. set it to any number basically so we can take a measurement there much like with a standard vernier caliper first you get your whole numbers off it the whole number is let me just move it a little sideways there your whole number is coming off of this end here you have to see or take a look how many millimeter lines are passed on the there a little better and make it sharp there how many whole millimeter lines are passed by the sliding zero that's one millimeter and a bit so it's so your whole number is one we have one point something okay now the tenth digit, so the next digit is on the tenth place value. It's going to be one point something. Let's see what we've got here. We look at the, just let me zoom out a little bit. You have to look at all of the numbers on the sliding scale to see which one of the number, which one of the lines on the sliding scale line up with which one of the lines on the main scale that doesn't move. So those ones are off, those ones are off, those ones don't look good, those ones are getting close, those ones are getting close. How about that one? I like that one. That line seems to be lined up spot on with that one. And as usual, the amount of, if this one appears to the right of this a bit, this one appears to the left of this line exactly the same bit. It's symmetrical. If this one is spot on, these two will be symmetrically both out by the same amount. These two will be out symmetrically by the same amount. Same here. So you get the idea. So I'm going with that line. So the next digit we have one point something. So we have 1.5. That's my next digit. 1.5. And then the precision of the instrument comes in. To play that's gonna be five point uh, that's gonna be five two five four five six five eight my measurement is 1.58 millimeters because 1 .5, the point 58 lives here and the one point that comes from the far end of the measurement okay I hope that makes sense with this coin let me zoom back out let's measure something else what can I find here quickly how about how about 
uh, this one, this pencil lead. There's some pencil leads in it. Let's see what we can do with one of them. No, nah, that one's empty. Okay. I found a piece. Just hang in there. Okay. Here is pencil lead. This pencil lead is supposed to be half a mil, 0 0.5. Let's see what it actually is there. I clamped it in. You can see it's in the jaws of the caliper. Maybe tighten it down a little bit. And let's see what we've got. First off, let's look at the whole numbers. Have to look at the sliding scale and the main scale. How many millimeter lines have been passed by the main scale zero, by the sliding scale zero? None. It's going to be zero point. This line is not past the first millimeter line. Okay, so it's a zero point. And then let's look at the alignment again. Let's see, what do we have? Those ones are out, those ones are out as well. It's looking like that one looks pretty close, maybe that one. Uh, how about that one? I like that one. Let's zoom in. And let's make it a little sharper. There. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. This line lines up on the sliding scale with that line on the main scale. So that was 0 0.0.345, 0 0.5, that's our next digit, and the last digit will be 5254565808. I guess this 0 0.5 pencil lead is 0 0.58. Maybe a reject, I don't know. But that's the measurement as a, as a it appears on the fine adjuster caliper. Let's, let's take one more where we have some more millimeters. Uh, let's see, what do I have? How about this toothpick here? We'll take part of this one from the molecules. So here is a toothpick. That's a toothpick. That's, that's a small toothpick. Uh, that's not big enough. Not thick enough. How about, uh, I just measure this pencil. How about this pencil? I'll go with this one. Oops, it's a little bit jamming. There. The pencil is being measured. I'm just going to pull it out. There. Let's see how many, how many whole millimeters we've got. I'm going to move it over sideways in a sec. So, that's going to be not, not the edge of the sliding part on the caliper, okay? Forget the edge, we're looking at the zero. <sighs> How many millimeters are we past? That's one, two, three, four, five. That's the fifth millimeter line there because it's made a little longer by the manufacturer. Six, and it's almost seven, but it's a little under seven. So like a 6.9 or something like that. It's six point something for sure. And it's not seven point anything. It's six point something. Let's get a decimal digit. None of these None of these line up really well with anything on the main scale. So let's move further downstream. Let's see what's at this end here. Yeah, those are pretty close. Let's see which one lines up best. How about and those ones are at? How about that one? That one looks pretty good because these two are symmetrically the, the same. This one is out this way and this one's out this way. Same on those two, same on those two, so I'm going for that one. That will be, let's see what number lives there. That will be the 0 0.8828486888. 88. Okay, so the decimal digits are 0 0.88. And uh, there, and it was 6 point something, so it's 6.88. How about that? The thickness of this pencil, where is it, of this pencil is 6.88 millimeters, how about that? Okay, so that's how you can make sense out of the, the fine adjuster caliper with all of these little hairlines. I know you don't have a magnifier lens or magnifying glass handy uh, in your shop or attached to your fine adjuster uh, vernier caliper, but um, 
you'll get used to it or get glasses like I do.